Hi, this is Maher Haddad. In uh, this first lecture of this course, I'm going to explain to you about the Wi-Fi Wave 2. So what is Wi-Fi Wave 2 on the Microtech? And what is the difference between the Wi-Fi Wave 2, which is on Microtech, and the standard, which is the Wi-Fi Wave 2? So I'm going to explain all this in this lecture. This lecture is going to be on the theoretical part. And then after that, we are going to start playing with labs, doing some configuration on the Microtech Router OS. So let's go directly to the explanation. So what is the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2? Wi-Fi Wave 2 is Microtech new wireless system designed for modern and high speed Wi-Fi. So it has replaced the old wireless package and the, the, the packages that we used to have in uh, the old uh, uh, Wi-Fi where we could use the A, B, G and, and AC, but it was using the old package. Now on the Wi-Fi Wave 2, so again, this what you see here, Wi-Fi Wave 2, as it is written here, it's Microtech new wireless system. So that means that Microtech they have created the name of Wi-Fi Wave 2. You will not see it in other places, but I'm going to explain to you later in a moment about the Wi-Fi Wave 2, which is the standard, which is, has nothing to do with this Wi-Fi Wave 2, which is for Microtech. So we can use on the Wi-Fi Wave 2 the N, the AC, and AX. This is officially that you can use them and AC and AX. We will see also that on Wi-Fi Wave 2 on the Microtech, we could also as well use some uh, old technologies, but that's something which is not really official, but we can also do it. So what the Wi-Fi Wave 2 has done for us, it used now MU MIMO and beam form uh, uh, forming, so that's more efficient communication with multiple devices at once. So that's to help you to have more speed. You can use the new uh, type of uh, security, which is the, uh, the WPA3. And uh, you can also have a faster roaming. So by using those protocols, which are R, K, and V. R is for faster roaming. K is for better access point discovery. And V is for smarter client steering. And that's something you can see it when we go later in the lab and we go from here uh, to the uh, uh, wi-fi and uh, let's go to one of those and inside that we can see we have something called steering you can see that steering and here we have the rrm and the wnm which are the one which just show them here rrm means radio resource measurement and uh, the uh, WNM is the wireless network management. So all of those, what they do, they help the user who is uh, roaming from one place to another to tell him to connect to a good access point and uh, with a faster way. And what the, this faster roaming does, it uh, uh, jump over the authentication. So it doesn't need for when you roam from one uh, access point uh, uh, to another when you are doing the roaming, it doesn't ask you to re-authenticate yourself. So it's much faster. So here what you can do, you can just enable them or disable them. By default, they are disabled. So if you want, you can enable them. And that's when you use the Wi-Fi Wave 2. And what also can do for us, it improves the speed and stability. This is based on the Qualcomm professional grade driver. And that's also something we can see later. I'm going to show you that in the lab. If you go inside the, the system packages, so you can see that we have now the Wi-Fi QCOM, which is the driver to allow the Wi-Fi Wave 2 to work. And this has much better stability. And also you can see that before we used to have here the wireless and from wireless we can do the configuration now we don't have it anymore we have directly the wi-fi and you can see i have an app ax2 and uh, you can just do the configuration from the wi-fi maybe i can open another um, router that i have here let me just see if i can get it for you to show you the difference so this is uh, for my office and not for the one which i'm doing lab on let's uh check if I yeah here we go so this is uh, a, uh, a router for my office which is router board 951 it's an old router it doesn't support the AX and you can see we have here the wireless and this is to support the legacy um, the legacy uh, bands so you can see I have only 2.4 gigahertz and from here we can do BG and 
So this is not a Wi-Fi Wave 2, even though that you see here Wi-Fi, but you don't see any interfaces here because this is the Wi-Fi Wave 2 and this doesn't support Wi-Fi Wave 2. Just to show you the difference where you can do the configuration when you want to work on Wi-Fi Wave 2. So now, it's, uh, I just put some important notes. First, only work on the newer Microtech devices with compatible Wi-Fi ch uh, chips, uh, which are Hub AX2, which I have now, AX3, Audience, Cap AX, and so forth. So the Wi-Fi Wave 2 only works with some devices and not all devices, and those devices which have compatible Wi-Fi chips to support the Wi-Fi Wave 2. Second thing, is not compatible with the legacy wireless A, B, G, clients so um yeah we will see later that i uh, could uh, make the the uh, g works on the 2.4 gigahertz even though with the two point with the we are working on the um on the uh, uh wave uh, wi-fi wave 2 so here we can see they give us possibilities so this is the 2.4 gigahertz and if we go to the channel on the band they told us okay you have AX, you have G, you have N, you have G, you see, G is possible. And I tried it and I could connect to it. So somehow Microtech allowed us to be able to connect to G, but then your speed would go much lower to 54 megabit per second. But you don't have B, definitely B, it's not gonna work. So there is no B on the 2.4 gigahertz. I think on the 5 gigahertz, they allowed also the legacy one, which is the A. We can have a look. So here we yes, see, we go, we have A. So yeah, the, on, they just left us those legacy possibility to connect to them. But again, please, if you are using Wi-Fi Wave 2, do not use those. Uh, because why you want to use Wi-Fi Wave 2 if you want to use the legacy speed? Because all the idea of the Wi-Fi Wave 2 is to get faster speed. So you can use AX or AC. But then be careful that all the users in your network, they have devices which are compatible with the new technologies. So let's go back to the uh, slide and uh, uh, here also they say we cannot run the old wireless package at the same time with the Wi-Fi Wave 2, even though that you can install it, but it will not work at the same time. Also, it could happen that uh, like I tried to put the old wireless package uh, inside my router, but um, the, the chips uh, for the wireless um, it's uh, not compatible with the old uh, one, so it only works with the QCon, and that's something you have to put in mind. So in simple, Wi-Fi Wave 2 is Microtech next generation Wi-Fi engine, faster, smarter, and built for today's devices. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, I made another slide here or just making a summary about what we spoke uh, just now. So the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2 those are the standards. So you can see they are not back compatible with the, the uh, uh, old uh, legacy bands, even though that uh, I tried on the G, it works, and uh, most likely the A will work on the 5 gigahertz. But uh, yeah, I don't recommend you to use it. So normally it should not be uh, uh, supporting the legacy Wi-Fi, but Microtech just left them for us to... Uh, be able to connect to some of them, but of course not the B. So here they say on um, uh, the Wi-Fi version 4, so which is partially legacy, so uh, uh, it's supporting and G may work unofficially. As I told you, G, I could connect to it. AC, it works, uh, the AC, and here we have, y, uh, we have Wave 1 and uh, 2. So those are the standards. So we have Wi-Fi, Wave 1 and Wi-Fi Wave 2, even though that the name is the similar like the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2, but the standard Wi-Fi Wave 2 is different than the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2. I know that's a bit confusing, but just I'm going, and that's why I made another slide here to explain about the difference. So there is a standard uh, on the Wi-Fi 5 uh, where we had uh, the Wave uh, 1, I think in the year 2000, 13 when they created the AC and then after that they made an upgrade uh, on this sender and they called it uh, Wi-Fi Wave 2 um, for the AC as well. So uh, uh, don't uh, confuse between those standards and the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2 which they gave it then the name themselves. So AC is supported, AX is supported, 
on the 5 GHz on the 2.4 uh, GHz is supported with the Wi-Fi Wave 2 of Microtech, but the 6 GHz is not yet supported. So we don't have uh, AX on 6 GHz up to now on the Microtech. As far as I know, I don't know if they have created some new chipset uh, for Wi-Fi which support the uh, Wi-Fi 6E uh, to have the 6 GHz, but uh, uh, what I have now uh, what I know now, they don't have that yet supported. So in short, only AC and AX are supported and an order are not supported. Even the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, even on the 2.4 gigahertz. So uh, yeah, the N is supported actually. Um, and some old are supported, but officially they should not be really supported. So we normally use the Wi-Fi Wave 2 only with AC and specifically with AX. So if you need to support the B, G and N clients, all the phones, uh, the IoT, you need to run the legacy wireless package instead of Wi-Fi Wave 2. Again, in case your router has a chips which can allow you to run the wireless package, the old one. For example, that one that I have now, if you put on it the wireless package, the old one, it will not work. Now, you cannot run both Wi-Fi Wave 2 and legacy wireless on the same time at the device. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, we understand about the Wi-Fi Wave 2 on Microtech. Let me just make this last slide to explain to you about the difference between the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2 and the standard, which we show it here on the AC, which is uh, the Wi-Fi Wave 2. So uh, you may read uh, in some articles about uh, Wi-Fi Wave 2, which has nothing to do with Microtech. So now you may get confused like, hey, Microtech says Wi-Fi Wave 2, and uh, there is the standard Wi-Fi Wave 2. So is it the same or not? So be careful, this is not the same. So I just made it like this in parts, and then I put a table for you here to understand it better. So part one, Wi-Fi Wave 2. Wi-Fi Wave 2 is marketing term used specifically for 802.11 AC, which is Wi-Fi 5. That's what we show here. Okay. And it refers to the second generation of 802.11 AC, which introduced MU MIMO, 160 megahertz channels as uh, bandwidth widths and more special streams. So yes, Wave 2 is 802.11 AC only, not AX. So this is what the standard is, because a lot of people think um, like I'm going to use Wi-Fi Wave 2, so that's directly um, they think about AX. Even the Wi-Fi Wave 2 of Microtech, they say Wi-Fi Wave 2, that means AX. Wi-Fi Wave 2 of Microtech doesn't really mean only AX. AX is part of it, but also you can use AC. And of course, the older one, which they allow you to use. Now, when you speak about Wi-Fi Wave 2 as the standard, is an, a new update about the protocol, which is 82.11 AC. It has nothing to do with AX. Now, we understand about the standard now, about Microtech Wi-Fi package, which we already uh, explained to you. Now, look here, the standard, normally they write it like this. Y dash phi with the capital Y and capital F wave two. So it's uh, three words actually Wi Fi wave and two. On Microtech, they just write it one word Wi Fi wave two package. So even that the name or despite the name Wi Fi wave two is the same, then it is a Microtech own package name and it uh, does support 82.11 AX as we have seen here. It does support 802.11 AX, but on the 5 gigahertz and not on the 6 gigahertz. So here they say the hardware has compatible Wi-Fi 6 chipset. That's uh, very important that it has compatible Wi-Fi 6 chipset and you're running the Wi-Fi uh, Wave 2 package, not legacy wireless one. So the Wi-Fi Wave 2 and the Microtech, which is the Microtech package support and AC and um, AX, so this is Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, but also we have seen that it supports A on the 5 GHz and it supports, uh, I think uh, we show the G on the 2.4 GHz, but B is not supported. So as a conclusion, to be super clear, we have Wave 2, which is the standard, second generation of 802.11 AC, marketing term 
Does it support AX? No. This is the standard of AC, new generation standard for AC, so it's different. While the Microtech Wi-Fi Wave 2, it's Microtech Wireless Driver package name, and yes, it supports AX. So this is all what I wanted to explain to you in uh, this uh, lecture. So it's uh, maybe a long lecture to be a uh, theoretical uh, lecture, but it's very important uh, that uh, I had to explain it to you because uh, just to take out all uh, those uh, possibly things that you think it's not clear what is Wi-Fi Wave 2, we read about Wi-Fi Wave 2 as a standard, is it the same as Microtik Wi-Fi Wave 2 and so forth. So I have uh, cleared all this for you in this lecture, but also I have given for you more explanation about the uh, Wi-Fi Wave 2 on the Microtik, which is also uh, having its own package that you can run it on the Microtik uh, router OS. And I showed you what are the benefits of the Wi-Fi Wave 2. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. In the upcoming lecture, I'm going to start doing one lab, first lab to do a configuration of the Wi-Fi Wave 2 on a HAP AX uh, router that I have here. And then after that, we are going to keep building labs. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.